let's talk about abuse in the relationship. Okay. So... This is like a, a specific thing, really. Let's not go into childhood abuse, family abuse, uh, family unit abuse. Let's go for abuse in the relationship. And this can be either partner in the relationship doing this, or it can be both of them. Now, it is not okay for you to put your hands upon your partner in an aggressive, violent, physical manner. It is not okay. It is not okay for you to deprive them of emotions, feelings, okay, of physical touch. It is not okay to use that as a form of weapon against your partner. It is not okay. It is not okay to use physical touch as a weapon and then deprive them, deprive them of that when they have done something wrong or vice versa. Okay, it's not okay. This is for both people in the relationship. It is not okay for you to financially restrict them as a form of punishment, a form of control. It is not okay. It is not okay for you to control who they see, who they speak to, who they talk to. It is not okay. This goes for both partners in the relationship. It is not okay for either partner to have one set of rules for themselves and a different set of rules for their partner. It is not okay. It's important within the relationship to communicate. Okay. To try and express in a safe way what you are feeling, what you are going through and what is happening. That is okay. But it's not okay for the other person to then use whatever past history, situation, previous this, previous that, you did this, you did that, to prevent you from saying, look, this is how I'm feeling. This is what I'm going through. You know, I'm letting you know because you're my partner type thing. Abuse in the relationship is not okay. Full stop. All right. And, you know, a lot of the boys have, unfortunately, abusive relationships with the ladies, which is true, right? It's, um, I mean, men don't stuff for that. It's true. I've known a fair few fellas in my time that have had fucking beatdowns off tiny women because they are men and they refuse to raise their hands to those women. So those women took advantage of that until one day they lost their patience and they just had enough and they gave them a fucking solid smack. And what's the first thing those ladies did? They rang the police, had been assaulted. And I was um, privy to a friend of mine who ended up going to court and winning against, uh, winning against his partner at the time. The amount of shit she put him through was horrific. We, we didn't know. It was shocking. It was shocking. And to look at her, you wouldn't think butter would melt in her mouth. Thank God they didn't have children. Seriously. Absolutely terrifying. But this can also be the man doing the same thing. Okay, there is no difference. All right, men can be absolute evil bastards, controlling, wicked, narcissistic, devilish creatures towards women. You know, no, you can't do that, my brothers. I know you can't do that, my sisters. It's not right. And within the Irish community, it was quite a thing. Um, abusive partnerships, abusive marriages. And in the Scottish community as well, 
Um, also, in the Asian, mostly Pakistani community, it's a big thing. It is a massive thing. You know? And they tend to cover it up and they tend to hide it, you know, for the family honour and, you know, oh, oh, you know, the shame. And that brings what we call honour killings and other stupidity and absurdities. And that's not right. You know, if your partner's putting hands on you and you have no choice but to call the coppers and get them arrested, whether they're male or female, then fucking well done you because you may have saved your own life. But it's not okay for then the extended family to go, well, you should have come to us. How are you going to resolve someone who's an abusive person, a controlling person, a violent person towards their partner? How How is the family going to deal with that? They're not, are they? Because at some point that person will just escalate and escalate. And, you know, it's terrifying to think that not only within the Asian community, but uh, across the UK, so many people die per year from violent partners. Learn to communicate, learn to express, and if you don't feel safe in your relationship, then make preparation, whether you have to do that quietly, whether you, you can do that without having to worry and just go like, this is it, this is what's happening, I'm gone, you know, but if you have to do that in a secretive manner to protect yourself and, you know, make preparations and stuff like that, then do so. There are people out there who will help you do, do such things, obviously, because now it's a... Uh, a more serious thing, uh, the police in general across the UK take this type of behaviour now deadly serious. They don't mess around anymore. Okay, times have changed. And, you know, if you are going through that, then please, please, please don't suffer in silence. Reach out to, there's helplines out there, there's people that can help you out there. You know, there's a lot of stuff that can uh, can do. Uh, GMP can have you move straight away to a safe location and then get the social services and other people involved who will rehouse you in a, a safe unit until you get back on your feet, whether that's you're a man or a woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, it's not just one-sided anymore. But remember, boys and girls, it's not okay if you're in a partnership to be a dick to your partner and apply any form of abuse whether that's mental physical or spiritual it's just fucking not okay